This is day six. This is arrival day at Malta. The sun is just rising, so I'm going to go up above deck and check out the sun sunrise. Sun deck, deck thirteen. And it's now twenty past seven. We're heading directly for Malta. We should be there by twelve o'clock today. Amazing sunrise. The thing we just noticed now is that people just boarded the ship at Malta. These are the people that missed joining the boat at Southampton because of the delay at the flight from Edinburgh. So they were obviously in a taxi behind us and missed the boat. So they've had to fly out all the way to Malta to rejoin the boat. So we're just waiting on our coach now to join the rest of the tour group. George, do you know what this town's called? Uh, uh, Marsa Schlock. Yeah. I'm not so, going to pronounce it though. Mar what is it? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Maltese Falcon, souvenirs of the Maltese Falcon. The story behind the Maltese Falcon is very simple. When the knights were expelled from Rhodes by the Ottomans, okay, they were looking for a place where to settle themselves and nobody wanted to offer them a place. Until finally, seven years later, the Spanish Emperor Charles V, he gave them Malta and Tripoli in fee. And the agreement was, I give you Malta and Tripoli, but you have to send to the Spanish Empire a Maltese Falcon each and every year as a remembrance of our agreement. Instead of paying him, they paid him with a Maltese Falcon. Why? Not because our Falcon is special and rare, but the Emperor was training in Falcon. 